twice obviously did anyone think it was gonna go different than that i might have during the first period because the first period versus the Ottawa senators was not good but in the second and third a whole other team came out of the locker room and went great and then the washington capitals played the philadelphia flyers in philadelphia and lost three to two i just really like the philadelphia flyers <laughs> So I like to see a team that I like play a team that I like, and it's fun for me. So it's cool. It's whatever. What I don't care for about this game is that the Washington Capitals played badly, poorly. It was poor. And I'm not going to say it was a poor effort because, like, okay, so both teams were on a back-to-back, -back, but, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but the Philadelphia Flyers as a whole are like a hundred years younger than the Washington Capitals. Give Travis Konechny a Red Bull and he's good to go. Oh, but my problems. Well, first of all, let's go with the Washington Capitals had five power play opportunities and zero power play goals. It feels like I'm flashing back to the first three weeks of the season. Except that that's not really true. Because in the month of December, the Washington Capitals power play has been second worst in the league. Really? Yes, really. Honestly, the Washington Capitals power play hasn't really changed measurably for like at least two years since Marcus Johansson left. Like at least that long. And zone entries have been a glaring weakness that whole time. And uh, the league figured it out. But news from practice today is that my sweet little baby son, Jacob Brana, was taking practice time, getting ice time with the first power play unit in the spot that Evgeny Kuznetsov is usually on. Maybe that'll help. But Caps fan family, we gotta have a talk. We're gonna have a family meeting because I go on Twitter and all I see on Twitter, trade Braden Holtby. I have not seen enough of you saying wave Nick Jensen. You know, real quick, let me just address the Jensen thing. I actually feel bad that I said that because I keep forgetting that all of our defensive prospects are left-handed. So like, Nick, you gotta figure it out, bud. Now, four year contract, you're gonna have to figure this out. On the ice in Philadelphia, he had some brutal turnovers. And each time that it happened, and they didn't all end up in the back of the net, but at least one of them did. I swear to you, I could see him flipping his lid, like going, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Dude, you play hockey. You've been doing it since you were like five. Just get the puck up the ice. That's all you gotta do. Maybe don't pass directly to Claude Giroux. Anyway, back to the other thing. Trey Braden Holby, you crazy. You're crazy, Caps fan family. You're losing your mind. There are two reasons not to trade Braden Holby that have nothing to do with Braden Holby. Ilya Samson. My sweet, biggest little goalie baby, Ilya Samsonov, is not ready to be an NHL starter. It's his first year in the league. Give him a minute. It's hard. Stopping pucks is hard. Braden Holtby is an above average goaltender. He has always been an above average goaltender. And in this league, that's real good. Okay. Do you know how many teams would kill to have an above average goaltender? Ah, but note, those teams are not going to give the Washington Capitals anything for Braden Holtby. No, they'll just wait and offer him lots and lots of money in four months. Why would they give the Washington Capitals anything? Ilya Samsonov is not ready to be a starter and the Caps can make a run. The Washington Capitals are the first team in the league to 30 wins. They've played 45 games, they've won 30 of them, got points in 35, so they've only lost 10 in regulation. Most of those games were played by Braden Holby. Yes, Ilya Samsonov is fantastic and I can't wait to see him start for the Washington Capitals next year. Next year, you crazies. You're in the second round against, oh, I don't know. Let's just pull a team out of a hat the Pittsburgh Penguins. You're on the road. You're in Pittsburgh. You're in PPG Paints Arena. It's game four. They've won two. You've won one. Patrick Hornquist has his butt in your face. Do you want that for him? You want that for him? I don't want that for him. I don't love that journey for him. Oh no, I want Braden Holtby in that situation. 
You know what, guys? Between now and the All-Star break, we will see the New Jersey Devils twice, the New York Islanders and the Carolina Hurricanes. By the way, I'm just tired of playing the Carolina Hurricanes. It feels like we've done it like a million times, and we haven't seen Pittsburgh yet. I want to play our real rivals. I don't want to play the second-rate rivals. I want to play our real rivals. I want to play Pittsburgh. This has been Kate. Salty Caps fan, my mom thinks that you guys should totally like and subscribe, even though I tell you that you're wrong all the time. Sorry. And I haven't had dinner yet, which is probably why I'm so weird. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, bye!